Welcome to a new RKB Bearing Industry Educational video where we show the functioning of one of the proprietary in-house developed software tools used by our technical department, the MTDS or Main Technical Data Sheet, whose main objective is to provide users with all the relevant data of a bearing, including the computation of its load rating capacities, followed by the rules defined by ISO 281 and ISO 76 in the latest revision. Load rating capacities are fundamentally used by machine designers to select the bearing size for a given application. The RKBM TDS offers consistent background information on the calculation of the static and dynamic load ratings of a bearing based on ISO 281 and ISO 76. These standards set specific methods of calculating the basic static and dynamic load rating and the static equivalent load for rolling bearings within the size ranges shown in the relevant ISO standards manufactured from contemporary, commonly used, high-quality, hardened bearing steel in accordance with good manufacturing practice and basically of conventional design as regards the shape of the rolling contact surfaces. Through the MTDS, the RKB Bearing Industries Group is able to provide the reliability of its own bearings by clearly and straightforwardly following the mathematical equations defined by ISO. To sum up, this system represents a modern numerical tool to quickly satisfy the customer's information requirements. By way of example, in this educational video, we are going to describe the use of the MTDS software for an RKB spherical roller bearing type 23236CAW33 with particular attention to the ISO method for calculating the static and dynamic load ratings. In order to run the MTDS software properly, it is necessary to insert all the required data of the bearing inner geometry and design, namely LWE, DWE, DPW, Z, and Alpha. Based on this information and the bearing design, the software computes all the other parameters necessary for the correct calculation of the static and dynamic load ratings. The results are exported as a data report containing all the iterations and computational information. The first page of the report recaps all the information regarding the bearing specifications, such as bearing part, main boundary dimensions, total mass, radial clearance, dimensional and running accuracy grade, basic load ratings, surface treatments, and so on. The next four pages contain the 2D technical drawing of the bearing, the list of the symbols used, the related definitions, a few technical notes and information, and tables concerning the load calculations process according to the ISO specifications. The last page of the MTDS reports the mathematical background regarding the static and dynamic load calculations. By definition, the basic dynamic load rating, CR, is defined as a load that a bearing can carry for 1 million inner race revolutions with a 90% probability of survival. This is the mathematical equation to calculate this rating for a single radio roller bearing according to ISO 281. The factor BM, in this case 1.15, represents the rating factor for contemporary, commonly used, high-quality hardened bearing steel in accordance with good manufacturing practices, the value of which varies with the bearing type and design. The factor FC is proportional to the relations between the roller diameter DWE, the nominal contact angle alpha, the pitch diameter of the rolling element, 
DPW. Values of the FC forming intermediate values of this ratio are obtained by linear interpolation. In this case, FC is equal to 87.46. The MTDS software automatically calculates these factors having all the ISO tables and specifications in the source code. The values of BM and FC are given in the ISO tables and represent the maximum values applicable only to roller bearings where, until bearing load, the contact stress is substantially uniform along the most heavily loaded roller raceway contact. I represents the number of rows of rolling elements, in this case equal to 2. LWE is the effective roller length, meaning the length where the roller is in direct contact with both raceways. In this case, the value is 42.6 mm. Finally, Z is the number of rolling elements per single row, with the same number of rolling elements per row in case of multi-row, in this case equal to 18. From this formula, it is easy to notice that the basic dynamic radial load rating, in this case equal to 1244 kN, depends on the geometry of the bearing components and on the bearing type and design. Together with the dynamic load rating, every radial bearing has a specific static load rating, C0R, defined as the load that under static conditions will result in a permanent deformation of 0.0001 times the rolling element diameter. In compliance with ISO 76, also the formula for computing the basic static radial load rating for a single radial roller bearing shows a geometrical dependence on the bearing components. To sum up, MTDS is the RKB in-house developed patent pending software system used by our technical department to provide customers with all the relevant data of a bearing, including its load rating capacities, computed strictly following the methods defined by ISO. In this way, we supply a comprehensive and improved information service as far as the technical characteristics of a bearing are concerned. For further information on the role played by the ISO compliance in performing bearing load rating calculations, please refer also to the related RKB seminar.